On this episode of WMAS Biz, we're going to meet with Sergio from Westfield River Brewing Company. Let's go inside and see what's brewing. Welcome to episode 11 of WMAS Biz. Sergio, thanks for being on the show, man. Thanks for having me. So tell us a little bit about the inspiration behind this business and how long you guys have been operating. So we've been here for five years. Um, we've been in this location for four of them. And I think, you know, the inspiration behind the business is I love beer. Um, I grew up around beer. My parents own package stores. My grandparents own package stores. And I just love beer. And I just thought that, you know, this was the right thing for me to do. So did you brew at home before you decided to do all this? I did, yeah. I was a home brewer for, you know, the better part of 10 years. and. The, uh, the story behind it is I was brewing in my kitchen and I had a glass carboy and I chipped the granite countertop with the glass carboy. And when my wife got home and saw the chip in the counter, she said, you're out. And I said, all right, well, I guess now's the time for me to start the brewery. And she said, you're not gonna do it. And I said, well, I am gonna do it. And here we are, here we are. Cool. So how many different beers do you guys brew here? And do you have a favorite? I brew about 40 different beers. We rotate through, we'll have 10 on tap at any particular time but I have about 40 recipes. I, my standard answer when I talk to a customer or anybody else is, uh, they're like your children. You have a favorite, but you really aren't gonna tell anybody which one your favorite is. I have three boys and no one gets to know which one is my favorite. <laughs> um, although I love them all equally. Uh, I would say I'm a seasonal drinker. IPAs um, are kind of year round, but which IPA I go with definitely depends on the weather. Um, I love light beers as much as anybody else, lighter beers, so we make some lighter offerings that you know, I love to drink in the summer. We have a Mexican lager that I make called Louis and Pepe's Mexican lager that I'll drink in the summer. Uh, I love the stouts in the winter. I love the German beers in the fall. I mean, it's just seasonal. Great. So obviously it's a brewery, right? There's a lot of brew here, but can you get food and can you take beer home? Sure, absolutely. Um, so we have a full service tap room here. And what we like to think of that as is we we have a business where we make beer and I brew all the beer here and you can come in and sit down and have a pint or a sample tray. And you can also grab a four pack of cans and take them home. So if you liked whatever you drank, you can mix and match a four pack or you can buy a four pack of one variety. But we realize that when you're having a beer, you know, you wanna have something to eat too. So we have a full Texas style barbecue here. Um, a friend of mine that's from San Antonio, Texas has opened up a kitchen here. We're two separate businesses, but we operate under one roof and it's really been great for us to have authentic Texas style barbecue. So do you guys do any special events here at the brewery? We do. Uh, a few weeks ago was our Spring Fest and it, and it went great. We have um, a big 73 acre farm in the back. So we have um, the opportunity to really have some cool parties up there. We have all kinds of bands. We'll put a tent up and kind of something that sprung on us as a result of that is we do weddings now. Um, so people will book the farm for their weddings. They put a tent up and, and it's a pretty pretty awesome place to get married. Um, and we're also actually gonna be opening up a beer garden. Um, so this summer you'll be able to come out and sit outside um, under the shade of a few trees and, and uh, have a beer from our new beer truck that we built, which is a Ford F350. It's a 79 that I renovated into a mobile walk-in cooler draft system. So you can walk right up to it and we'll pour your beer out of it and that'll be out in the beer garden all summer. Very cool. So where are you guys physically located? We're in the old Chuck Steakhouse on Route 10 in Southwick. Um, you really can't miss it if you're coming down 10, going north or south. It's a huge red barn that was built in 1912. So we have all the benefits of a beautiful barn that was built in 1912, and we have all the downside of a beautiful barn that was built in 1912. We kind of like to joke that it's gonna be a little warm in August, a little cool in January, but the beer makes it feel fun. So if somebody wanted to find out more information about your business, where would they go? Well, you can go to our website, westfieldriverbrewing.com. Gives you all the beers currently on tap, gives you the food menu, gives you what wines we're offering that week. Uh, you can also find us on Facebook, you can find us on Instagram, you can find us on Twitter, you know, pretty much anywhere you look nowadays. Great. Sergio, man, thanks for being on the show. Thank you, Steve. Really appreciate it. If you own a local business and would like to be on a future episode of WMass Biz, you can send us an email to WMassBiz at RevithisRealty.com or hit us up on one of our social media profiles at Revithis Realty. Please make sure that you like, comment, and share so that others can find out about this great local brewery. Hey! You like that?
but that was for somebody else. Oh shoot, you're right! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Great blooper. I was thinking, I was thinking the same thing. I didn't even know that. <laughs>